A year has passed since Toro Honda began living in the summer residence, and she, she has since created a strong relationship with its inhabitants, Shigure, Kyo, and Yuki. She has also grown closer to the rest of the summer family and became a familiar with their ancestral secret. Having helped them with many of their personal issues, the closer Tora gets, however, the more she begins to realize that this, their secret holds a darker truth than she first presumed. Summer is approaching, and Tora is invited to spend her holiday days with Soma, mainly Kyo and Yuki. Tora wishes for an easygoing vacation, but her close relationship with the two boys and the rest of the Somas may prove to cause trouble. As they grow more intimate with their uh, carefree time together is hindered by older hardships and feelings from the past to begin to resurface. The eternal banquet also dawns on the member of the Zodiac, and they must tend to their duties alongside the unnerving head of the family, Akito Soma. With the banquet approaching and a plethora of feelings being solved with Tora's life, with the Soma's remain peaceful, or will she find herself in a situation from which she cannot escape? This anime has about 25 episodes, premiere April 7th to September 22nd, 2020. It does have a third season and a prelude. It's based off the popular manga series. It is drama, romance, supernatural, theme is school. Each episode is 20 minutes and it's rated PG-13. Let's get started into the review. We are back with season two of Fruit Basket. And here we start off with the beach episode where the kind of the manga also picked back up too, where we began with the beach episode with Tora spending her summer vacation with the Soma family. And then also we get to witness the eternal banquet that the Zodiac Summer Family hosts every year. And we also get to see Toma's, Toru's interaction with the rest of the Soma family, including the head of the Soma family, Akito Soma. And then we also get to see all the hardships that each of the Soma's um, hardships deal with. But we also get to dive closer into each Zodiac um, protagonist, whether it be Momiji, Kagure, Yuki, Kyo, and Hatsuhara, where his white and black side does come out every now and then, depending. But we also get to dive closer into Toru's friends, like our two best friends from high school. We didn't learn too much about them, only in the manga. The first original series didn't touch on that, but now that we are on the second season of Free Basket, we did get closer into the different character development and backstory of Toru's friends, and then also see how Toru's relationship between Yuki and Ko like develops over time along with the rest of Soma because as far as Toro is concerned she's barely scratched the surface between the Soma family and now that she spent over a year with them she's only slowly going to dive into the obstacle that they face keeping their ancestral secret um, hidden from the rest of the world until their curse is broken but I also think it's touching to see you know besides each episode focusing on the one individual family member of the summers were focusing on her friends because I have, I was was always intrigued how did Tora meet her two best friends, and they're vastly different from each other. So I, I was really intrigued to see more about them to learn how they met, what were their backstory, and how Tora helped them overcome their hardships in their life. Besides, you know, dealing with her own hardships of you know being by herself before she met the Somas, and I think it's also a joyous occasion to see how this one person, especially Toro, can bring the Somas together despite this secret. They felt like they had to like burden alone, and also to see how Toro deals with Akiko um, Soma. Because truth be told, I do not like Akiko Soma, but I digress. I really enjoyed Free Brassica. I gave it 8.9 out of 10, and I can't wait to see how season three brings it all together as we wrap it up. But definitely check out Free Brassica season two if you haven't already. And let me think down in the comments below, and I'll see you soon by the end review. Until then, bye.